A motorcyclist is dead after an early morning crash. This was the scene around 9 a.m. on Highway 17 and 67th Street. What was reported was a motorcycle had been traveling northbound and collided with a pickup truck, which was crossing 50th Avenue on 67th Street, heading eastbound. The driver of the motorcycle was transported to Lloydminster Hospital, where he was pronounced deceased. Police closed the highway, causing big traffic delays all morning, but now Highway 17 is reopened. Police say drugs and alcohol are not believed to be factors, and the name of the driver is not being released at this time. Well, another traffic nightmare north of Bonneville. Some drivers are thanking their lucky stars after a multi-vehicle crash this morning on Highway 41. Just before 8 a.m., RCMP were called out to a six-vehicle pileup involving three semis, two trucks, a and a car. Two uh, passengers in one of the vehicles were transported to the Bonneville Health Centre by EMS for the purpose of observations and to get them uh, checked out by medical staff. Miraculously, there were no serious injuries. The cause of the accident is still under investigation, but RCMP say weather conditions could have been a factor. Fog was probably a major factor in the cause of this collision as visibility was down to probably feet. A section of Highway 41 was closed for the majority of the morning, but is now reopened. A new study suggests former NFL football players are at greater risk of dying of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and Lou Gehrig's disease. But is that risk the same for local high school athletes? Will Cortez has the details. Hunt, 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 hunt. Football is and always has been a sport of high contact and high risk and many of those injuries are to the head. The block, that a boy, Dana. Repetitive head impact can lead to chronic brain damage, especially at a younger age. Uh, causes the brain to uh, get swollen, in common terms, get swollen, and um, can cause uh, brain injury, um, can cause uh, cognitive difficulties, uh, can cause motor difficulties. Watch out for headaches, brain fogs, loss of memory, nausea, lack of attention and fatigue if children show these after a major sign. They should seek medical attention immediately. Parents shouldn't be discouraged about putting their kids in football. New helmet designs have lowered head injuries significantly. And we find with the new equipment, um, they're, they're coming with more air pockets, they're starting to take care of the whole head. Um, you got some more jaw pads and stuff like that just to, for furthering the protection for the whole head. As well. Injuries to the head is something that needs to be viewed with caution and I mean that doesn't mean they don't have to play and don't need to play the sport, it's just that they should be aware uh, of the injury. But after a hard hit, kids do need ample time to recover. Both doctors and coaches caution. Will Cortez, Newcap News. Are you prepared for a rainy day? Recent surveys show conflicting results, some more optimistic than others. A month after CIBC published its survey saying Canadians need to save more, the Bank of Montreal released some numbers of its own this week. Stefan Kachmar finds out what you really need to set aside. The difference between the two polls is CIBC states 45% of Canadians are not prepared for a financial emergency, while BMO says that only 34% aren't prepared. I think they need to make sure that it is savings and not just an available amount on their credit card. And there's because they're very different um, and some people think, yeah, I'm ready for a rainy day. Most banks create their own surveys to find these stats often finding different results. Anybody can make a survey and anybody can take statistics and they can skew them however they want to make to their the own economic stability BMO of states that Albertans are most prepared in Canada with 79% having money saved, while 70% of people in Saskatchewan are prepared. The young people should always begin to save money as they grow. As you build your assets, you always save money. Um, as you retire, you should have a nest egg. If you're having trouble managing your finances, there is an easy way to start saving. To make a budget, to, um, to just start saving and planning for the future. Um, a failure to plan is a plan to fail. Stefan Kachmar, Newcap News.